Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am going to show you around my very empty apartment. Let's walk in. First thing we have is a closet, which I am always in love with closets. But my closets now are not going to be a place to just store junk. And then here is the front room, the living room. I don't know, we always call our living rooms the front room. Sliding glass door, it's not super big and it's dark and there are no ceiling lights. So I'm just doing the best I can. My mother's hospice aide is with her right now so I have a few minutes where I could run over here. So this is what we have for here. That's the door I just came in, so this is just another angle of the living room. Then if we turn here, we have the kitchen and dining area, which will most likely be my office with my computer. And I like my little kitchen. There is a dishwasher that I will not be using. I don't do dishwashers. Microwave, just the basics, and then the fun part is back here. I see a light fixture up there. I just don't know how to turn it on. This is the washer dryer area. Dryer, washer. Oh, here's a light switch. There we go. So I'm going to be happy to have that. And there is a shelf. Now I'm standing in the washer dryer room showing you the dining area and my little kitchen. Now I'm standing in the living room and this is the little hallway. And first stop is one of the bedrooms. This one might be like my craft, uh, craft room, shipping room, things like that. So still more like an office but not like with my computer. I will do that in my dining area. And then there's a small closet, which I plan on making, uh, turning that into my ASMR recording studio. Nice and small, nice and dark. Should be able to soundproof that quite easily. And a little backdrop, some little lights, whatever. It's just uh, what I would like to do. Don't know for sure if I'll be doing it don't have a lot of time in my life right now. And a nice window that I will always uh, leave the blinds closed on because I don't like sunshine. Right across from that little bedroom is the bathroom and it seems like I have just one switch so the fan runs every time I put the light on. I don't like the sounds of fans like that but whatever. And just basic, but you know, it's a pretty big countertop. I'm just glad, I mean, uh, you know, a long vanity. I'm glad there's only one sink. I hate double sinks. Twice as much stuff to clean. Shower, very basic. A nice closet. I plan on using this bathroom for storage. Look, they put a new roll of toilet paper like I'm in a hotel. Yeah, I plan on using this for storage. I don't plan on ever taking a shower here so there won't be any moisture from the water. And uh, so all these cabinets down here could store craft supplies. Maybe not storing fabric in here, but craft supply things. I think that would be a good, a good home for those kinds of things. I had no clue that there was a ceiling fan here. <gasps> I'm so happy about that because this is the room I will spend most of my time in. This is where I plan on cutting my fabric and doing my sewing. Nice big window again. Uh, like right now, I don't think the sun would be bothering me so I'd actually be able to open that up. Uh, least of my worries, I could live in a dungeon and be happy. And this is my master closet. Love it. Nice and big. Plenty of room to put bolts of fabric and all my things. My dressers, if they ever come, they'll go in there. Um, you know, I'm just going to use it for storing. Uh, you know, my clothes takes up one drawer of a dresser. <laughs> the rest can be for fabric and stuff. 
Once again, fan comes on automatically. I love that my sink is smaller here. I love it. So this is the bathroom that I will be using for bathroom duties, taking my shower in here. And uh, like I said, the other one will be mainly for storage. Once again, just a ordinary shower, toilet, and a new roll of toilet paper. I feel so special. And I just noticed that there is no closet in that bathroom, and that's okay because I have this ginormous closet right here. And I have cabinet space. It's noisy out here, but it's darker and it's cool. And I just thought I would uh, do a little outro after that apartment tour that I'm really not into. <laughs> I just, it's been hard. It's hard. This whole move has been stressful. I'm still extremely worried about my furniture. I, you know, I'm trying not to think about it because it could be a while, like a long while. And I'm just afraid that stuff will be damaged and missing. <sighs> You know, again, I have valid reasons to be concerned, and this is after doing a lot of homework and already having been involved with a bad moving deal before this one, so I really knew how to do my homework and how to ask all the right questions and, you know, read the reviews, and they were good, everything, and uh, it's still falling apart for me. The other thing is that my mother is in very high narcissistic supply mode. This has been a major change for her, and now she is suddenly sharing me with Derek and Skylar. And that doesn't go over too well with a narcissist. Uh, she wants me to uh, just focus on her and only her. And it has been really, really rough, and it is just completely wiping me out. To the point where I am going to look into a uh, nursing home for her, even if it means coming off hospice care, because I didn't have her for six and a half months, and that was the first time in, at the time I was 60, the first time in 60 years that I, I was free from that. Even when I moved to Texas for three years, I traveled all the time to come and do things for my parents, you know, especially my mother. And, you know, we were on the phone all the time. And even when I lived in an apartment, you know, for many years in Sanford, it was still, it was like every day I had to go there and do stuff. So it's just been my whole life that I've been taking care of her in particular. And it's time that I don't, you know, do that. I, I took her from the hospital into my home because I was told she had two to three days at most maybe a week, you know, that kind of thing. And I thought, I can do this. I can bring her home to die. And then she didn't die. And I was like, I can do this. I can still transport her. But the care is just so minimal. And I need so much more than that. And the... Um, the private pay I met with that woman seems like a nice company but the thing is is you know I'm starting out with four hours per day seven days a week uh, which is going to cost me over three thousand dollars a month just for that and uh, there's a whole lot of other hours in a day than those four there's 20 more <laughs> so, <laughs> I, it's like it's not gonna be enough and without my apartment and my setup, I can't work like I want to because I don't have the stuff I need and or the space. So uh, everything is just a mess right now and I'm very, very uh, worried and, and concerned. And it, it's not even so much stress, it's a whole different thing. And I feel completely out of my element. I feel homeless. I feel like I'm living in a hotel, that I'll be living in a hotel for the rest of my life. I will never feel like this is home. I don't feel like my home in Maine is home. Even if I were to go there for the summer or something, I will never feel like that's my home anymore because I flushed it. And now it's just a shell. Um, 
with a lot of bad memories, you know, and you know, I am very ready to just walk away from that. I was always telling myself I can come back anytime I want, well, you know, after my mother dies, um, just to kind of get me through the fact that I was leaving that place. So it's a love-hate relationship with that home. I always had massive dreams for someday being there and just having my family. You know, I used to think I would have other children and just a big family. And of course, it was very early on. I knew that wasn't happening by choice. I didn't want anymore because I was a drunk. And I, I knew that that wasn't um, material for a good mother. You know, I can't be a good mother if I was a drunk. I chose booze over that kind of a dream and I don't even have Derek there near me there I don't want winters I'm so glad I'm not going to go through a winter a main winter even if they have snow here I don't care uh, I don't want main winters with shoveling and snow plowing or snow blowing and hiring people and worrying about losing power and pipes freezing I just don't want any of that so yeah I'm kind of down in the dumps I hope you at least liked my apartment I do like it it's like a glorified hotel room for me, and that's going to be okay. It doesn't have to feel like home. It's certainly not permanent. I, I know that I will probably move several more times in my life, maybe many, because I'll be free to do that. I won't have as much stuff, and I brought more stuff, if it ever gets here, than I really wanted to because I just couldn't decide. The next move, it'll be easier to get rid of some of the big things that I don't want to take with me. Um, or I can plan in advance and have enough time to sell some of the stuff that I don't want to take with me to another apartment. So that's where I stand. And um, I didn't want to record really at all, but I did want to show you my apartment. And I thought that would be a video I could get through. But I just feel like it showed that I wasn't even into it. And I do like my apartment. It's just right now there's a lot of things hanging over my head that are not allowing me to enjoy certain things. And that's okay. That's okay. It's all going to get better. It's just going to take time. I did have a sale. I am so excited about that. I almost sold out. I have just two sets of batik. Uh, batik uh, fat quarters, two sets that didn't sell, and I was going to save them for next week, but I think I'll put those on eBay. Go check my link in the description box, either down below, in the sidebar, wherever that is. I, I will probably put it on eBay, and then if they don't sell on eBay before my next sale this coming weekend, it's so noisy out here. I can I can offer it back at the sale uh, to the sale to my exclusive shoppers and then just bounce around like that. I did my mailing. I use I have to use Derek's computer to print my labels, so I'm doing things a little bit of a different way. And I wasn't able to get the packages out today. I will be telling my exclusive shoppers that on their platforms, but in case they're watching. I do have the packages all packed. I just need to print the labels and I will be bringing them to the post office tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And then your things will be on their merry way. And I am so happy for the um, interest in shopping because I thought everybody's probably gone now who wants to shop because I took you know a significant break. But it was, uh, it was nice to see regulars shopping and new people shopping who, who joined those um, Patreon and YouTube memberships just to shop my sale, my first Mississippi sale. It was small, but it was a start, and I needed to get started with that. All right, it is getting dark, and I, I'm so comfortable out here. I wish I had a hammock and I could just sleep outside. That would be so cool. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.